I'm on my way to meet my cousin for the first time. We met on Ancestry. We share a close DNA connection, and we're both investigating adoption stories. Come on. In 2021, Marion sent her DNA into Ancestry. After her results came in, she started reaching out to her close contacts. Hi, I'm adopted with very little family history, but Ancestry says we are first or second cousins. I'm looking for my grandmother Orpa's biological parents. She was adopted and she was born in 1906. Marion's situation is a lot more complex. Marion's mother was born in 1902. She was an orphan. We know she lived in a foster family for a while and that as a teenager, she lived at the Roman Catholic Orphan Asylum. When she reached adulthood, she was placed in a family as an unpaid servant. We still don't know her name as it may have changed several times. Marion is this woman's daughter. She was adopted and she is looking for both sets of her biological parents and all of her grandparents. I think we're all vaccinated and boosted. Yeah, we're we're probably fine. Yeah. My doctor is saying, well, does this run in your family? Does that run in your family? And I'm going, I don't know. A lot of the information we do have about our story came from the non-identifying adoption information that Marion was able to get through California Social Services. Marion's mother and my grandmother were probably half-sisters, and our common ancestor was their mother. Members of this family immigrated from Switzerland, Denmark, which was also known as Prussia, and Germany. Marion's father's people were French Canadians from Quebec, Canada, Ireland, and Scotland. When all of our ancestors were in San Francisco, they worked as service people, waiters, coopers, carpenters, and builders. They recreated with music and vaudeville productions. In our case, when the German immigrant dad died, his two daughters were sent to live at the Maria Kipp Orphanage. The paper trail shows that the 1880 sisters retained a lifelong relationship with their mom. By the time Margaret had her first two children, the philosophy of maintaining contact with the natural parent had likely changed. Here's an illustration showing our relationship. The 1880 sisters were in the Maria Kipp orphanage. The oldest one had two daughters who were both in the Roman Catholic orphan asylum in the early 1900s. Marion is the child of the 1902 daughter. My father is the son of the 1906 daughter. We don't know if her first two daughters were a secret. If they were, that had to be a painful thing to carry, especially when their birthdays rolled around.
I feel more connected that I wasn't left out there all by myself. I was an orphan, and that's how I'd felt for so many years. Now I feel there's connections, and I have family out there, and that they're all from the San Francisco area really was fascinating. My mother told me that Margaret was my birth name. She wanted to keep that, so she gave it to me as my middle name. So that name has been continuing. So to have that continuing to pop up all the time really solidified it. I'm part of this family. I didn't know I had a family tree. <laughs> and you, Lisa, have been so helpful to me. I'm, oh, my gosh, there's people out there that I'm related to. And I'm delighted in sharing that with my children because they had no... Uh, uh, idea either. So this has been quite an adventure. It really has helped my quality of life and to know that there are connections out there with me. I really hope we find my great aunt. Though she may never have known it in her lifetime, she did have a family and she does have descendants who have not forgotten her. <laughs>